Hello, my name's Polly and welcome to my channel Space Woman. Today I'm going to do the capsule wardrobe tag. I was tagged by Rachel from Slow Fashion Mum and um, definitely check out her channel to see her eco-friendly capsule wardrobe and videos on thrifting. The first question is, when did you first discover the capsule wardrobe concept? About a year and a half ago, beginning of 2015, essentially because I knew that I was going to be moving into my husband's one bedroom flat where I currently live and um, where I was living before that I had a whole extra room that was just filled with clothes and a whole outside of a shed also full of clothes and I just knew that we couldn't both coexist in this little flat um, without killing each other if I took all my clothes with me. I discovered a blog called Unfancy and she has a 37 piece capsule wardrobe of mostly casual clothes and this seemed just right for me because I'm freelance and I work in the arts. I also discovered this book, uh, Cheap Chic, which uh, I think was published in the 70s and it's really where the term capsule wardrobe originated by, uh, I think it was made up by um, one of these two women, Catherine Millionaire or Carol Troy. Anyway, so this is, is from the 70s and it talks about having a small curated closet of only your favourite things to wear that led me to think a capsule wardrobe might be the way to help pare down some of my excess. Second question is, why do you do a capsule wardrobe? Um, it just seemed like a way to make life easier, really, I suppose. But at the same time, I, I also found out about minimalism and um, I suppose that's really how my parents have always lived and me gathering as much stuff as I had was probably a bit of a childish rebellion against the way I was brought up, which was with not too many excess things and uh, clear surfaces and not very many clothes and, and everything being quite ordered and quite design conscious. And I realised that I would like to get back to the sort of environment I grew up in. And I've been doing a capsule wardrobe for um, a year and a half nearly now. And the reason I keep doing it is because it just seems so much easier to get up in the morning and have a finite amount of clothes to choose from and a very manageable amount. Question three is, what is the best thing about doing a capsule wardrobe? For me, the best thing is probably getting to wear only my favourite clothes, not ever being out somewhere and catching sight of myself and going, oh good God, what were you thinking? Uh, that doesn't really happen anymore because I've got rid of clothes that don't make me feel great. Going about my normal day, maybe I'm working mostly from home, it's not like I'm out to impress anyone, but I feel good in what I'm wearing and if I catch sight of myself I think I look alright and that is actually a real luxury for me. And also I suppose when I do go shopping now, and it's a lot less than I used to, I'm very, very critical of everything that I look at and I'm immediately thinking, will this go with sort of four, five, six other items in my wardrobe? Do I think I will wear it enough to get the cost per wear down to 50 pence? That's that's my other rule. So, for instance, if something costs 50 pounds, I know I have to commit to wearing it 100 times. So uh, that is something I now think about. What's the hardest part of having a capsule wardrobe? I suppose you do have to keep up with your washing, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I try and only do the washing once a week, but that does mean that um, sometimes I go to put on an outfit and I'm missing uh, a kind of crucial bit of it. And often, because I've, I've tried to make sure that all of my clothes go with several other clothing pieces, yeah, I can improvise and come up with a new outfit, but um, there are some pieces that get worn to death and are always in the wash. and. I suppose the other uh, hardest thing is that I've got at least a couple of friends who are kind of shopping enablers. So when I hang out with them, they will usually want to go and look around the shops. They get a bit kind of worried that I'm not buying stuff like I used to and sell those. You know, they'll, 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 I guess then they feel guilty about what they're buying. So they'll try and encourage me to buy something. And it, 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 it just, it feels like pressure. Whereas I suppose what I should do is just, just say, let's not go to the shops, let's do something else. Question number five is, what is your best tip for beginners? Um, I think the first one is just go ahead and try it. I mean, the worst that can happen is you hate having a capsule wardrobe and then so you just can quit. 
<laughs> it's only an experiment. Pick a number, any number, um, have that amount of clothes in your closet, pack the rest away and see how you find it. And if the whole idea is too daunting to do it with your, your whole closet, then you could try just making a packing capsule for the next holiday you go on. Maybe try just taking two bottoms and six tops and some accessories and mixing and matching them. And if you find that surprisingly easy and you enjoy it, then when you get home, you might consider doing that to your whole wardrobe. My other tip would be that you don't have to only wear neutral colours, you don't have to look like a stereotypical minimalist. So if your whole wardrobe is full of bright red and bright orange pieces of clothing, that doesn't mean you can't have a capsule. Uh, it may be slightly more tricky to come up with outfits, but if you really only feel happy wearing red and orange, then you should just keep wearing red and orange, just less pieces of it. Question six is how many pieces does your capsule wardrobe include? I usually go for around 37. I'm not totally strict about that number because it, it, it slightly depends on the season here in, in Britain. I don't need as many clothes in summer as, as I do in the depths of winter. I include shoes, bags, scarves and outerwear in my capsule, but I don't include jewellery or belts. Although I have massively pared down my jewellery collection um, and the same with I used to have a loads and loads of belts like this whole kind of tangle of snakes in my drawer. I've uh, I've culled some of the snakes and uh, now uh, I have a much smaller collection. The seventh question is what are your five most essential pieces? Well the first one for me is going to be incredibly boring it's what everyone says and that will be a stripy top. I uh, I performed in a show about Andy Warhol when I was on 1920 and we toured around for about a year and a half and I was always on stage in just a stripy top and black tights and somehow that stuck and I've never been able to get out of the habit of I knew from the first time I started doing a capsule wardrobe that I would need to include at least a couple of stripy tops and those are the things that always are in the washing basket when I want them because I wear them so much. My second most essential piece is probably white jeans, uh, which have made it into all five of my capsule wardrobes so far. Um, they're just as easy to wear as blue jeans, and in the summer they look summery, and um, I like to think of them in the in the fall and winter as, as, as winter white. Uh, having said that, it's uh, the upkeep is ridiculous. Um, I live in a city so where everything's really dirty, so my white jeans are never white for very long. However, I like them enough to put up with the uh, constantly having to uh, rub stains off them and wash them. If anyone ever invents a protector spray for white clothes they would make a fortune, I swear to god. My third most essential piece is probably my Adidas Superstar trainers. Uh, I bought these kind of for nostalgic reasons really because when I was a teenager in the 90s I had a pair um, of shell clothes and so when I saw them I was sort of enchanted by the fact that they were in again. I've absolutely loved them, worn them nearly to death. Um, I'm really going to have to think about um, recycling them soon because they're knackered. So they go with literally everything that I've ever tried to wear them with and they're just hugely comfortable and I can walk miles in them. Fourth most essential piece is probably my Longchamp uh, tote, nylon tote bag. Uh, partly because it's incredibly light so it's really great for carrying a lot of stuff, it doesn't add to the weight and it's waterproof being nylon and it's got a sort of minimalist style which actually can look quite classy. And I use it as my yoga bag, or I've shoved it in lockers and, and, and on the floor. It's taken it out in the rain and I've had it for about 18 months and it's still really showing no signs of wear. So in my opinion, uh, those long short bags are really well made. And certainly in Europe, um, don't know about elsewhere, if the corners of the bag start to come undone, you can take it back to the long short shop and they will send it off to Paris and they will fix it for you free of charge. And my fifth most essential item for the last two seasons has been my Kit and Ace uh, studio cardigan. Um, when I put it on I feel absolutely like myself and I feel kind of brave and happy and it's really easy to wear because it's black and white but the Aztec print gives it a bit of interest. I did wait until the sale because Kit and Ace stuff isn't cheap. Um, and it's a lovely silk and cashmere blend. In general, I think that will be a lesson that I've learned through doing the, the, the capsules is maybe when I started, I did think I had to have not too much of a showy print or, or not too much detail because it, it wouldn't be versatile. Um, you can certainly afford to have 
a handful of those in your capsule and they will just brighten up your life and um, make sure you don't get bored of, of, of wearing a, a pared down closet. Any additional comments is question number eight. The last couple of seasons I've um, I've kept on hand a few pieces that didn't quite make the final cut and then if there are pieces that I did include in my capsule that turn out not to work very well for me I will remove them and I will switch in one of these sort of uh, pieces that didn't make the cut and see if that works and so on so that I'm never forcing myself to go three months wearing something that I don't really like or just letting it sit in my wardrobe and that would be my other tip if you're pretty sure that you're not going to wear a piece of clothing again don't hang on to it out of guilt particularly now there are so many ways to resell your clothes that way you can have a little savings fund building up and with any luck you can not be out of pocket at all when you buy the items for your new capsule so yeah um if you're thinking of trying a capsule wardrobe, I'd say go for it. It will probably make you more creative with the fewer pieces that you have. And you'll certainly discover what your favourite items are. And you'll also get to refine your style because um, you'll naturally gravitate towards pieces that um, make you feel a particular way and make you look a particular way. And so therefore you should be able to avoid purchasing mistakes in the future. And thank you so much for watching. Um, do subscribe to my channel if you're not already for more capsule wardrobe videos and videos on thrifting and playwriting and minimalism. Anyway, have a great day.